box? Who's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Today is unboxing day for the latest Loot Crate box that I just received. As I've said before, Loot Crate is a monthly geek box that costs $35 a month. So we're gonna open it together. There seems to be three different packages, so I'm gonna take the first one. The package is called Batman Minifigure Black and White. It's a DC collectibles, obviously, and it's to celebrate the 80th birthday of Batman. Batman being born in uh, 1939, so yeah, obviously it's the 80th birthday. It's the second superhero from the DC Comics because Superman was born one year earlier. Uh, he was created by Bob Kane, a 22-year-old draftman. Batman was inspired by uh, Zorro, uh, Dracula, and Sherlock Holmes. So this figurine is approximately 8 inches, I would say. As advertised, the figurine is black and white. His cape is floating with the wind. He's staring at something down below. So I guess he's supposed to be on top of a building in Gotham City. Personally, I don't like black and white figurines. Unless it's from a black and white movie, obviously. I don't like his bat symbol on his chest and it's hidden by a part of his cape. What I like is that he's holding the batarang in his uh, left hand. The fact that there are three packages of the same exact brand bothers me. Because if you don't like this kind of figuring, well, you beeped. I know that in American culture, you're not supposed to swear in YouTube videos, so I'm not going to do it. But you know what I mean. So now there's another Batman. So it was made by a different artist, that's why it doesn't look the same. And I like this bat symbol on his chest. I also like the utility belt better. It's the way he stands though, that is kind of weird. His chest is popping out, but his shoulders are back. <laughs> and he looks mad. So I guess he's like in fighting mode. And his cape is way more in the wind than the previous figurine. But I don't like that his mask's pointy ears are way smaller. And finally the third one. Okay, that's cool because I thought that I was gonna have a third Batman and that would have bothered me. This time is an Ollie Queen figurine. Harley Quinn is a personal favorite of the DC Universe. Now she's becoming even more popular since Margot Robbie played Harley Quinn. Both in the mediocre Suicide Squad and the pretty cool Birds of Prey. She's a former psychologist from the Arkham Asylum. She's uh, the Joker's girlfriend in the original DC Comics timeline and uh, Poison Ivy's girlfriend in the DC Rebirth timeline following Flashpoint. I don't quite get the point of doing a black and white figurine for Harley Quinn. For Batman I could understand but for Harley Quinn? I mean she's full of colors. I like her smirk though. She has a sexy attitude. And she's holding a really big gun. Well, Holly Queen always has been a very sexualized character. Even though she looks like a teenager, which is very disturbing. So anyway, here we have some uh, Shazam socks. Obviously uh, yellow and red. So it could be a DC-themed uh, crate. Even though Shazam is recently DC. So the funny anecdote is that Shazam's first name was actually Captain Marvel and was created in the 40s, so way before uh, Marvel Comics Captain Marvel. And basically a few lawsuits later, Captain Marvel um, became Shazam and was bought by DC 
well, Marvel Comics bought back the name Captain Marvel for its own characters. I hope I didn't lose you there. But those are socks. So I don't have anything else to say about them. So next, there's a t-shirt, like in every Loot Crate box. And that's a Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Rings t-shirt. So it could be related to the Peter Jackson movie or to the Tolkien books in general. Because it's just the broken sword of Aragorn. So it's the legendary Andoral sword that was uh, previously owned by his ancestors. And it's basically the symbol of his leadership. So it's a gray t-shirt and I like the fabrics. Uh, it's really soft to the touch. Well, it's really basic because it's just the sword. But that's good enough. And the final object is... <laughs> it's a Ghostbusters book! Loot Crate Boxes books are pretty good in general. I like them. And this one is called Tobin's Spirit's Guide. It's written by Dr. Ray Stans, Dr. Egan Spengler, and Eric Burnham, which is, I guess, the real author. The design of the cover is pretty good. So apparently inside, you've got stories of the Ghostbusters encounters with spirits and phantoms and ghosts. I love it. So here you go for the last month Loot Crate box. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and stay gold.